In this video, we're going to be looking at the homeostasis of your blood sugar or your glucose levels. So sugar and glucose are used interchangeably because glucose is a sugar. So it's important that you know that if they ask you a question about someone eating a sugary meal, they're talking about your blood glucose levels will increase. So just to remind you, this is grade 11 work, so it shouldn't be too challenging for you. But your pancreas is an exocrine and an endocrine gland. It is exocrine because it secretes pancreatic juice into the small intestine via the pancreatic duct. So exocrine glands are glands that secrete secretions via ducts and the, duct, the secretions don't travel far. But if we look at a cross section of the pancreas, so if we cut the pancreas open over here, you would see this structure which shows you here the exocrine glands that secrete the juice into the duct and then into the small intestine. But in the middle here are what we call islets of Langerhans. And your islets of Langerhans are your endocrine function part of your pancreas. So that those cells, the islets of Langerhans, have two different types of cells, the alpha cells and the beta cells. So they represent them by being different colors. And the alpha cells will secrete glucagon and the beta cells will secrete insulin. So let's have a look at how this process of homeostasis actually works. So if your blood glucose levels rise above normal, that will happen due to the fact that you are eating some food, perhaps maybe a sugary meal. Your pancreas is stimulated to secrete insulin into the bloodstream. So insulin is the hormone that lowers your blood sugar levels. And whenever you name a hormone, you must say it's secreted into the bloodstream. That's often a tick on the memo because hormones are traveled in the, uh, traveling in the blood. They are not secreted via ducts. They are secreted into the blood. So the pancreas is stimulated to secrete insulin into the blood. And then what that insulin does, it travels to the liver and the skeletal muscle cells in the blood. And it stimulates the conversion of glucose in the blood into glycogen for storage. So that glucose is removed from the blood, therefore lowering the blood glucose levels. But you end up replenishing your glycogen supplies. So glycogen is like the starch of humans. Plants store glucose as starch. We store glucose as glycogen. So by removing that glucose from the blood and converting it into glycogen for storage, your blood glucose level will decrease back to normal. This is your normal level. And you always end your answer with saying it goes back to normal. Now, if you are fasting, for example, that's a very likely possibility, or you're exercising very fast or very thoroughly, your blood glucose level will drop below normal. So when it drops below normal, the pancreas is now stimulated to secrete glucagon, glucagon into the bloodstream, okay? So please note here, glucagon is different from glycogen. Glucagon is the hormone, but glucagon stimulates that the liver will convert the stored glycogen that it stored earlier on. It converts that stored glycogen back into glucose. And that glucose will enter the bloodstream, therefore increasing the blood glucose levels back to normal. So just remember, people who have diabetes, so the main type of diabetes is either the people are not secreting enough insulin, the um, islets of Langerhans are damaged, so the insulin secretion is poor insulin, the insulin is uh, poor quality, or if it is type 2 diabetes, then they are generally overweight from bad lifestyle choices, bad diet, not enough exercise, etc. And then the cells are not able to respond to the insulin. So they're not secreting enough for what their body needs because they've got a lot of glucose in their diet. So people who are diabetic don't have that insulin secretion coming into their blood. So they are unable to lower their blood glucose levels to normal. So they are not able to convert that glucose into glycogen for storage. You also get people who have diabetes that also have a poor amount of glucagon being secreted. And that means they are also not able to convert any glycogen they do have stored into glucose. So people who have diabetes get insulin injections to help to lower their blood glucose levels. Otherwise, their kidneys end up excreting that excess amount of glucose in, your, in their urine. And a final reminder, another hormone that can also bring about this process here of converting the glycogen into glucose is adrenaline. So adrenaline acts in a similar way to glucagon. Glucagon is secreted by the pancreas, of course, and adrenaline is secreted by the adrenal glands. 
but that adrenaline works in the same way of converting glycogen to glucose so that your blood glucose level can be nice and high so that you can function optimally in a stressful situation.